Hey guys, it's Charlotte from Crafting Through the Chaos of Life. Thanks so much for joining me for another video. I am back making some ephemera for the mermaid journal that we're working on. And I do apologize that I haven't had very many videos out. Um, we had some family kind of issues going on. Um, the last week when I made my uh, jelly print video, uh, right after I turned off that video, my one son came down and let me know that my eldest son Arden was bleeding all over the place. Needless to say, it was a uh, rest of the afternoon was spent in urgent care for like four hours and uh, he cut himself pretty good at the thumb and they just glued it back together. He's okay, but it's always something with boys, isn't it? <laughs> so I am here today, finally back again and wanting to work away on some ephemera. And I thought I would just try to use up a whole bunch of scraps of cardstock paper that I have. Um, a lot of this um, is from, you know, making cards and stuff. And I just thought it would be a good opportunity just to kind of use some of these scraps up and make them into tags and journal cards and what have you. So let's play around. Um, some items that I do have are um, th some ephemera from the Lavinia Scraps Mermaid that I um, got the obviously this mermaid kit from. Um, and then I also have some ephemera bits from, see, so we have the Mermaid Collage a Junk Journal Kit and add-ons from uh, Liana Scrap. And then I also have um, this Mermaid Ephemera Kit here from My Porch Prints, which I've gone ahead and cut, fussy cut out quite a bit of things already. Um, and just kind of got them ready as I was watching some TV. And so I have those. They're just gorgeous in here in um, this Ziploc bag. So yeah, we'll go ahead and play with some of these. I also pulled out um, just kind of some fun stamps, um, kind of beach and sea theme stamps, some mermaid stamps that I have. Um, also, um, I have a couple of fun die cuts that we might play with a bit and see what we can create for those as well. So let's just get started. I thought we would just start out by doing some ink blending with the Distress Oxides because it gives that really cool um, kind of water feel technique when you add uh, water droplets to it. So yeah, I just thought it would be fun to kind of try um, our hand at that. So I'm using, this as a little mini waffle flower inking mat. I really like it because it sticks to my glass mat and gives me a nice surface to do some ink blending on. I'm going to be using Broken China and Salty Ocean. I was definitely um, debating whether to use Salty Ocean and Mermaid Lagoon, but I just, I kind of like the um, Broken China just a little bit better. So let's go ahead and just start doing some oxide ink blending. And again, it's not going to be, sorry, I'm probably like wiggling all over the place. I don't know if, I think it's just my table wiggling. It's not necessarily the camera because the camera's mounted to the ceiling, so that shouldn't wiggle. It's just my table. So I apologize for that if you get a little nauseous looking at that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of just do some ink blending. See if we can create kind of a fun background. So what have you guys been up to? Anything exciting? It's finally the long weekend. We had, um, had a good time this morning. We went to the Crossroads Flea Market. I hadn't been there in years. And I was kind of hoping... Um, I had remembered that it was kind of vintage. There's like a lot of kind of vintage stuff there and I was kind of hoping I'd be able to find some good finds. Sadly, um, there wasn't, you know, there was more um, vintage collectible type stuff like pins and um, hockey cards and um, what do you call them? Uh, lots of Funko Pops and um, action figures and that sort of stuff so there wasn't a lot in terms of um, say like vintage bingo cards or vintage magazines or anything like that so that was a little disappointing but it's still fun to look around um, you know obviously lots of vintage china and collectibles that way but 
not really not really a lot for anything junk journaling so but uh, yeah we did um, did walk around and ended up getting some plants for the front yard which was nice just some hanging baskets and what have you but yeah they have all sorts of different kinds of foods and kind of fun stuff um, yeah, so again, I'm just, there's no really rhyme or reason to this. I'm just kind of blending these two colors together. And then we'll see what happens when we hit it with the, with the spray bottle. Just thought this might be a fun background to create. Um, actually, what I want to do with this piece is, I think let's see if I can blend it a bit more. Um, but I think I want to run this through that um, one die cut, kind of like the mermaid tail die cut. Let's see, so that's kind of fun. Don't know how, it looks a little different on camera than in real life, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead. And I'm just going to be using my Gemini Junior. I kind of have it set up to the side here. And I'll just try um i don't know where i got this die cut from i don't remember it might have been might have been aliexpress or it might have been from an actual craft company i didn't save the packaging so don't really remember but i think this is fun it's kind of like the scallops of a mermaid tail so I just thought that would be fun to try. So we'll go ahead and put it on our little sandwich here and we'll run it through and then we'll add the water afterwards. Um, which way do I do this? I always, as you can see, I always get my, <laughs> my uh, sandwiches mixed off here a bit, but that's okay. And we'll just run this through. What we got oh it shifted but that's okay let's see oh come on it's stuck to the magnet here yeah you can see my paper shifted but that won't really matter in the end here i can get it off i uh, need my pokey tool wherever that is but maybe maybe the tweezers will work that's kind of fun. Hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, you know what might look really fun on this as well? Okay, let's do the water first. And then, uh, where's my water bottle? It's here. And I also have some of this um, Hero Arts White Iridescent Shimmer mist that might be fun as well I'll give it a nice little shimmer i have to shake this up really well though because all the stuff sits at the bottom haven't used it for a while let's see let's add a little bit of water in the hands and kind of drip it down onto there give it some time to react with that oxide and then you can just take a paper towel or a craft cloth, whatever you have on hand. And then you just kind of blot it up. I don't think I left it on there long enough. Try that again. Just kind of spraying it in my hand and dripping it on. Let that sit just for a little bit longer. Should react. It's the oxides. I know the distress inks do as well. Give it a bit of time. So yeah, the fir first kind of unofficial long weekend of, of summer, really. We uh, surprisingly, we just had like a little bit of, a little bit of splash of snow on Friday. So, 
that wasn't too bad. It came and went rather quickly. Okay, hopefully that's long enough. Yeah, that's reacting a bit better. Not as, like it's very subtle. Usually, I wonder if it's because I'm using the oxides and not the inks. Usually there's a little bit more of a of a kind of a water element to it, but that's okay. Um, let's try, I'm going to use this spray, and do I have a box? Usually I have a little spray box, but I think I gave it to my daughter to craft with. Hmm, just kind of looking around my craft area here as I shake this up. Um, well, maybe we will just put down, what will we use? Um, I guess maybe just some paper towel. That's nice and handy. Just kind of catch some of this mist. And we'll just spray this on. Oh, it's like stuck. <laughs> and I don't want a too big of a splash. Okay, I'm gonna have to spray it down into the... Oh, that's not spraying at all. Okay, well, let's try doing it this way. I'll just kind of drip some of this on and see if that works. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe it's all just kind of clogged up and... Well, let's try this again. Of course, nothing really wants to work. I'm on video, so. Okay. That's looking all right. I can kind of see the water droplets now coming through. Hmm. Well, this is not working out. Oh, I have a bunny. <laughs> a little bunny stuck to my cloth. My daughter must have been playing with some stickers. See if I can get the spray to work. No, not even. I'm gonna end up breaking it. Well, that just shows you I need to use this more. Come on. There we go. Okay. Well, that should give it some shimmer. Not as much as I would like, but oh well. So we're going to just set this aside for a bit and let's go ahead and ink up one more piece. Um, what do we want to do? I want to do another piece like this. So that could be a journaling card. Maybe we can make this into a tag. So I'm just going to Cut it a little bit so it'll fit on my mat. Like so. So yeah, this is just scraps. So stuff I would have otherwise likely have thrown out. But I thought I would save and see if we could, could use them. And just do some fun blending again. And you can use whatever blending brushes you like. Um, when I want to lay down a lot of color, I use these foam ones. And when I do want, like subtle shading, then I use the like the picket fence uh, magic blending brushes. Just blend this up, and then we can get to hopefully maybe some collaging over top. I know I should have probably done this off camera, but just in case people haven't seen this technique of ink blending before, I'm sure you have if you've done card making and stuff and have these supplies lying around. It's kind of fun to bring out the inks again. This one's fun. And I like how the colors are blending on this one. Okay. All right, 
So I think I'll set these aside for now. I think I'm done with the ink blending. And then what I like is I can just use the water and the cloth just to clean this up. Just like that. Cleans up quite nicely. And I like this little one. It's it's big enough for cards and for kind of tags and stuff that I want to do. There is a bigger one, but I just I like this because it's small and kind of compact. I can take it with me if I'm going on a retreat or anything like that. So let's go ahead and spray this one. This one we should get a lot of reaction with because I really soaked it. And then we'll go ahead and blot that off. Yeah, definitely a lot more reaction with, with more of the water. You can see that. So that's a lot of fun. Gives it kind of that oceany feel or water feel. And then let's take a look at this one. I'm going to blot this off. I'm not 100% enjoying the how thick the sparkle is so yep that's fun kind of looks like bubbles in the water like that too all right so let's take a look i need to straighten this out though because it's bugging me and i'm just gonna use my little fiskers chopper for that Let's see if we can make it somewhat somewhat straight well, that edge definitely isn't straight, so let's go ahead and... Are any of these edges straight? Okay, this one is, so let's use that one. I'll just give it a nice little trim. And do it here. And here. There we go. That looks a little better. And let's see what we can play with. Now some of these are definitely going to be too big. So this is from my porch prints. These images are just gorgeous. All these beautiful mermaids and shells. Some nice little ones in here. And let's just take a look at what we can do. She's really pretty. Um, okay, I want something more for the background. I want the shells are pretty big. I have smaller ones. Mm. Seaweed is kind of nice. I like that. Got some octopus. Some more coral. Um, hmm, those are not going to work. They are too much of the same color. The fish is kind of fun. I feel like she's not going to stand out very well in that color, though. I could maybe do her. Kind of feel maybe some vintage book page might be fun. Let's see what I got in my scraps. Oh, yeah, these are from the maps. Maybe some of this writing. Oh, yeah, it's got... That's kind of neat. That's kind of the... Um, what is it? Number one, first position of the British. Number two, movement on repelling the enemy. That's kind of fun. And we've got some other writing here. Let's see. Let's rip this up. I didn't bring my vintage photo out. Maybe I should do that. Tear that down. Grab my vintage photo. I'll just ink up the edges a little bit. Might be nice too to use a 
a little bit of black soot kind of make it look like the edges are burnt a bit that might be fun definitely want to ink this guy up and I kind of take down some of that white in between there where I couldn't really cut out I'd invest in a really good pair of fussy cut scissors I like my cutter bee scissors but oh shoot got a really big glob on there that's okay maybe you'll make it look like a shadow <laughs> Got a little too inky on there. That's okay. And then we'll carefully ink up the lady, this little mermaid. You can find a lot of great images on Etsy for, for mermaids. It was hard to choose, but I just thought this one from My Porch Prince looked really good with this kind of kit that I had chosen. So now we just play around, see what we like. I feel like we need something up there. What do we have? Hmm. Got a lot of shells. Maybe if we moved you up a bit some shells in there. Maybe what I'll do is have it coming off the page and then I'll just trim it down. Mm -hmm. This is always the hard part of decorating. It's the fun part, but it's also the hard part of what you want. Do not know. Maybe this just wants a fish or something. What do I have for fish? Hmm. Well, this is difficult. So many beautiful images. I don't know what I want to use. Let's take a look. Here. Uh, these ones might work. And what do we think of that? have him coming up behind. That's not bad. Maybe we could find something to go up there. Might have some words or something that we could use. Um, okay, well, I should probably glue. Need some glue here. So let's... I'm going to start with this tag. I feel like this is kind of coming together a little easier. A little bit of ink. So yeah, what else has been going on? We got the Battle of Alberta going on tonight. Game three. So Calgary against Edmonton. So that will be a fun game to watch. Thank goodness we have tomorrow off that we can stay up and watch it. All right. And then admittedly, I've been doing some kind of trash YouTube watching. <laughs> I've been I've been watching the uh, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I I do legal work during the day that I, I find it kind of fascinating. I, I find American law really interesting. It's, you know, it's very, very different than ours. So, um, yeah, I kind of find it, find it entertaining to 
to see how they pose their questions and the objections and definitely a lot of objections on uh, on Johnny Depp's side there but yeah it's been been funny funny to watch let me know down below if you guys are watching what your thoughts are you know what I think it might be fun I've got some pearls maybe I'll put a pearl on there give it kind of a little 3d element that might be fun okay and I also have um, some actual real oysters with um, with pearls in them so maybe what I'll do is when I go to post this journal I will uh, I will uh, give one of the uh, oysters with a pearl away with it that would be fun and you can have your own real pearl from a real oyster there we go yeah, I kind of like that back there so let's go ahead and do that Now I feel like I need more texture, more texture for this. What do I want? Um, I did buy some cheesecloth. So that one's kind of fun. It's kind of coming along. Need something. Um, let me just go grab that. Pearl. Let's see if this is big enough. Um, I have a whole, a whole big 12 by 12 sheet of these uh, sticky pearls. I got them off, no, where did I get these? I got these at the dollar store. So yeah, these are a lot of fun. So maybe it would be fun. Yeah, I think it's going to be the right size to put. Mm, where did my tweezers go? I know I had them. Them back. Oh, there they are. Go ahead and put this pearl on. Oops. Okay, well, I shot that far, far away. Guess I'll find that another day. There we go. Come on. They're just sticky enough to stick where you don't want them to, and then not sticky enough to stick down where you want them to. Let's see. Put that in there. Oh, I like that. I'll show you guys that up close. Hopefully you can see it. You see that little pearl there? I think that's cute. So that's kind of a fun... I'm going to cut it to a tag shape, but I might still do something up here. I'm not too sure. Again, I feel like it needs texture. What did I do with a cheesecloth that I bought? Well, that's a really good question. Um, there it is. No, no, it's not. Uh, here it is. Yeah, it's definitely a different type of, of cheesecloth. It's not really what I expected. Um, but let's cut it down. Let me grab... Uh, scissors are going to work. I don't know if I want to pull out my fabric scissors just for this. So let's see if I can... Yeah, it's got this... It's more like a hanky, to tell you the truth. It's got, you know, it's sewing around. and but Let's see if I can... Just cut into it and rip it up. I'm just ripping it into strips here. Uh, there we go. So yeah, now we can kind of see. Oh yeah, so it's double layer of cheesecloth. It's looking better now. A little more ratty tatty. You don't want it perfect, right? Just ripping it up into off the seams here. Um, I'm going to set you aside. Let's focus on you. Which way do we want you to go? Um, OK. 
Okay. Cut another little bit here. Hopefully you guys can see me. Yeah, I'm just destroying it now. I'm just mutilating it into pieces, but that's okay. Then I'm going to take... It's just a bit, a bit white for me, so I'm going to just use my vintage photo and grungy it up a bit. Pull it apart just to get that weaving loosened up. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm just going to have to take a drink here. Starfish down there. Hmm. Kind of like that there. Um. So you can still see the scalloping behind and the glitter. It's kind of cute. Don't like that. Um, hmm. Yeah, these shells are a lot bigger than I had hoped. Let's see what else we got. kind of fun. Um, this would be cute for a little tiny tag that we could make. I'm not sure we're going to get very much done in this video, you guys. I'm kind of humming and hawing quite a bit here. Not exactly sure what I want. Kind of have to, you know, stand back and look at it and See if you like it. Uh, okay, well, let's just, I guess, glue down because nothing's going to get finished if we don't start gluing down. Um, let's glue this guy down first. Get my glue ball mucked up here. Which way did we want it? Let's do it this way and then I'll trim down the edges. Okay, now we need, I'm gonna hold the uh, cheesecloth and the mermaid together and I'm gonna hopefully get it so that the glue goes through the cheesecloth. You can see that there. And sticks the mermaid down as well. her tail. Okay, kind of liking that. Some fun texture. That's too much. Uh, okay, let's put that in behind. So I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing here, but I just thought I would play. We will play and see what we can come up with for some ephemera. We got lots of fun little elements to use. That is for sure. Okay, and I'll stick that down. Dab glue there. Okay, well that's not too bad. It definitely needs something else. I feel like it needs um what does it need? It needs 
like I don't know some silver elements you know what I mean like maybe um, a starfish silver kind of gem or something and I'm gonna have to back this um, with some coffee dyed paper likely just because it is um, textured it'll be awfully hard to write on there back it on maybe some extra cardstock I have or some coffee dyed paper but yeah let's add a little bit more glue so we have that and we'll trim down trim down the shell kind of fun but yeah I think it needs something something else in here maybe you could add a few real shells or something but I'll think about that so let's kind of see what else we can do here um, let's take a look at what we have for the ephemera that came with the kit. Get rid of these pieces. And where is my bag? Got everything everywhere now. Um, okay, I'm gonna put this stuff. Well, that could be a fun card as well. Let's keep this out actually, and we'll make that into a journaling card. Um, put this stuff in here. Looking at some of these images, there. There's another one that I saw here. Is it this one? That's kind of cool. That too. Okay. Oh, well, she's pretty. Okay, let's put this stuff away in the bag. Oh, there's some more shells. Let's see. Might put that on there. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting all distracted. Don't really have a plan, and when I don't have a plan, that's usually where I kind of go on tangents. So let's see here. Um, I want a pocket. Oh yeah, I don't know if I showed you guys the front. I think I did. I'm not sure, but I got the little shells uh, glued down so that was fun and let's see what we have for pockets and stuff We've got little envelopes side pockets corner pockets oh some of these tags too you know what I want to do with these let's actually grab I want to make these kind of sparkly. So there's a couple of different ways we can do this. We can do it with um, embossing powder or I have one of those um, Wink of Stella pens. Let me just find that. Okay, so this is the um, Glitter Clear 999 Wink of Stella. I think it would be fun if we just kind of went over these with this pen, it's kind of in these little lines, these strokes, just to give it, give it a little bit of shimmer and I'll show you here when I'm done. I'm also trying to take a look at all my um, items that I have, obviously for card making too, and seeing how I can Incorporate them. Put some sparkle there. Yeah, I think that's fun. So I'll hold that up so you guys can see. Hopefully, the sparkle will come through on camera. You see that? Or tail glitters? Hopefully, you can. But yeah, I just think that's fun. It gives it a little shiny element. And then I'm I need to um, back these on some stronger paper as well. 
So let me go ahead and do the same thing with this one, just kind of giving it little bits of sparkle throughout. That just gives it a little bit more interest. Makes the tag come alive. There we go. And if you have any sort of watercoloring abilities, you can obviously, you know, do some watercoloring tags and cards, um, journaling cards. So this one, don't know. This one I definitely want to add. So pretty. Add a little bit of glitter on there. course when you're I just think of rainbow fish actually I'm not gonna lie I think of rainbow fish when I add this sparkle stuff such a good story there we go fun fun so there's a little envelope um what do we want to put as the first pocket smaller ones let's see here this is that ephemera from the kit so doesn't need too much I mean we can add, add some buttons and stuff to it as well hmm, not digging that there I feel like we might need to make a pocket. We could make this a pocket and maybe put that there. Let's see how we could jazz this up. Um, first, let's back it onto some thicker Hard. Is that going to be big enough? Yes. Okay, let's use our glue stick for that. The glue page. Come on. Alright. Nothing like I just can't. Oh, my mom and I went and got her nails done again. That was something. Um, just yeah, I haven't been doing too much. Just work, 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 work. Now that the weather is nicer, I want to get out into the yard a bit more too. Okay, so we'll just pop that on here. And smooth it down. Yeah, this will be a nice pocket for the front, I think. And we'll trim it down. It does have a white border around it. I think I'm going to try to maintain that border. Um, but I also will, of course, ink it up too. Because that's what I do. I like to ink. There we go. Okay. I was also um, trying to figure out, I want to make more interactive elements as well in my uh, journal. So I'm just trying to, you know, figure out stuff to do for that. So stay tuned as I try to figure out how to do that. Hmm. I think I want a thumb hole. Let me grab my punch. And then we'll try to find center, which I am quite honestly not the best at. 
that'll do. Um, I should probably put the pin back in my art glitter glue because we all know what happens when we leave that open for too long. All right, that's ink, ink, ink. Yeah, I haven't even been <laughs> really watching my any of my craft videos that I like to watch because I've just been wrapped up in that silly trial. I really need to stop watching. Not really sure what I'm trying to gain from it. Um, I'm debating whether or not I put that there. And if I could put it on there and it could also be like a little tuck as well for, oh, well, maybe that one little piece, we can make a tiny little tag that goes there. We could do that. Right. Stick something a little tiny in there. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Have to be something fairly thin. All right, just glue it on the sides a bit. And we'll put her there. Then the next thing we want to do is glue this into our journal. I sure have made a mess, haven't I? Okay. So we will put this right here. Turn it this way so I remember which sides I need to glue. Try to hold my thumb on the side that I'm not gluing. That just kind of reminds me where to put the glue. Okay. Yay, we started decorating. Okay, I'm just going to hold that down a bit um, for a bit here because the uh, cover again has the shells on the other side so it doesn't lay quite flat. So I just need to give this a little pressure to have the glue kind of catch to the paper. There we go. So now we need a, something to go in there. Um, let's see, we could start, start putting some pockets on pages as well here. This is kind of cute. Let's go ahead and do that. Get a few things kind of done and in. I think that looks good there. Let's go ahead and glue that down. And, oh, come on. Don't have a lot of time without art glitter glue. I kind of want it straight. There we go. Yay! So we've got two pockets. One in the front, one here. Um, let's find another pocket. That one's cute. Let's go kind of to the back and see where we could put this one. I want to keep as much writing space as possible because this is just a one signature journal. Uh, we also have this bag that we need to decorate too. Uh, that goes. That could be a little side tuck that way because the turtle goes this way unless he's going. No, I think it goes this way. Does it go that way? I think it goes this way. So I'm probably like off. Off screen. That's what happens when you don't do videos for a while. You forget where you're supposed to supposed to be. Kind of like that there. Let's go ahead and do it. Just fold these edges down. 
Now these kits make it so simple to put together a journal. It's all the pre-made pockets that come with it. Ink up the edges. Again, you don't have to use vintage photo. You could use your um, salty ocean, your Victorian velvet. There's some, a lot of great colors in the um, Tim Holtz Distress ink line, so don't be afraid to use the non-traditional colors. I think I want it this way. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. You guys will also have to let me know where you are from. Where are you watching from? I know I have um, a few subscribers here in Canada and in the States. Um, I think I have one actually from Germany. Um, I know one of my journals went to someone in France, which is really cool. Um, okay, so we got that pocket done. A little tuck. Let's just see. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Okay, what else? What, how much time do we have? We're almost out of time. Let's see if we can get... Let's see if we can get this tag finished and this journal card. Um, grab some coffee dyed paper. Is this going to be big enough? Yes, just. Okay. Um, because this has all these bumpy lumpies on it from the embossing, I'm going to use my art glitter glue. And then I will decide afterwards if I actually want to um, sew around it as well. I'm not sure. We'll see. I don't think I really need to, but you never know. I just might. Okay. Get that glued down and then we'll cut it out. Just have to run a, a stitch around the edge, I think. I didn't cut that very straight at all. Let's try that again. There. Okay, then our tag. We need to, do we have any words? Or labels or anything, do we have a label? Not sure I'm gonna have anything that really kind of goes with that. Hmm, I don't think so. Some woodland labels. Nothing that I don't think is really going to go. Nope. 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 What about? Mm, let's take a look at our lace pieces. Got some burlap. Kind of might be fun and then cut it to the tag let's try that need our fabric tuck for that and this stuff is so goopy Oop. some burlap bits 
And we'll just glue. I always forget how goopy this stuff comes out. Ugh. Well, at least we know it's going to be stuck down. We've got that going for us. So I'm just holding that down while it catches. Getting Fabri-Tac all over my fingers, which ugh, I do not like. That sticky feeling. And glue pinned back in the art glitter glue. Should I get it in there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've really got a lot of burlap stuck to me now. Okay, come on. Don't stick to me. Okay, I need my... Oh no, this is not working. <laughs> Best laid plans. Okay. It, yeah, it's stuck to me. Let's use this. Just hold that down. And... I think for this, I think I'm just gonna trim the corners here. I think I like that better. And we'll ink it up a bit. And we'll see, I might, I think I might have to um, just run a stitch around the edge just to hold that backing paper on there a bit better. But yeah, I like that. I think that looks cute. I like the, the um, cheesecloth behind there just gives it a little bit more texture, I think. And then this one, let's see. Probably gonna take some time to dry, but let's see if we can it into our tag shape. Now I want to reuse this corner, flip it over, and try and get the same angle. Okay. I'm not sure I like those little bits there. Okay, and maybe, let's see, do you want a little bit of lace on there as well? Um, not that one. What about, I'm just looking in my little container here, little lace bits. Hmm. Put a butterfly in there. Let's see. Not feeling that. Well, I'll have to think about it. I'm not not a hundred percent sure I am done with that yet, but we are out of time, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we've done. Not a lot today, uh, but that's all right. Something's better than nothing, um, especially when you're kind of getting back into the groove of things. You know, do short little spurts of crafting, and then it'll, you know, start to start to come back to you on on how to get your creative mojo back. But so we've got these two um, that. I'm almost done. I might do something else to this. I'm not exactly sure what, uh, but I do really, really love that little pearl on there. I think that adds a bit of fun to it. So I know this wasn't a super exciting video, guys. Um, I do apologize for that. Like I said, just kind of getting back in the groove and um, you know how that is sometimes. So we've got a tag and a journaling card all done. And then we've got this pocket with a little tuck here that we can put something in and then we've added a pocket here and then back here we have added where are you one of these blue pieces somewhere back here where are you a little tuck here 
so yeah, I'll just kind of keep plugging along with making ephemera and um, try to turn the camera on when I am doing this. So thanks so much, guys, for uh, watching today's video. I hope you join me for the next one. And P.S. I love you.